Yes, my name is Ben Chandler. Welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be building ourselves a handy little sensor template that we can use to easily deploy and create circuits that can detect systems, or in this case, we'll be demonstrating it with Cargo. In the next episode as well, we'll be looking at how we can actually build ourselves a handy little template to extend our ability to detect stuff with cargo in order to handle those edge cases of when it becomes empty and when you can no longer load anything into that particular cargo. So without further ado, let's get into building our sensor template circuit. So we'll jump over to, there we go, our build mode. And we'll fly over here and we're going to make this nice and easy to handle. So the first thing we'll need to do is obviously drop down our sensor block there. Then we're going to grab a activation module and we'll throw it behind it like so. So you can see it there. Now we'll select that and we'll drop in a AND gate above a knot. And then let's chuck in say a blue light because they're always helpful blue light on top and we can toggle that so the knot gets changed as well as the light so you can see here that's our circuit there uh, the next thing we will do is we'll check a display module at the front and this will be our output so whatever we want it to be and then we're going to check a activation module on top and then we're going to check another activation module and we will switch that one on and there we go that's our circuit as a whole now let's quickly explain what's happening here. So when our sensor block uh, detects a certain amount, it'll trigger the activation module and the activation module will go into the end and the knot will change as well and the light will light up. Now you'll be thinking that on, the, uh, uh, on its own, this doesn't really do all that much. Um, but it is very powerful because of the fact that we can duplicate it and then actually wire it up the way we want to use it. So one thing we'll, we will need is we will need a clock. So we'll grab a delay into a knot and knot into a delay and toggle them and there we go. The other thing is we need our display. Um, now, mattering what you want your display to look like as it changes through all the different things that's detected, you'll want to place it in here and then copy this and duplicate it out. So what I have here is I have one that I made earlier that I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna paste it in there and you can see percentage and we've got these two shades of boxes. So I can just replace the light shade with the dark shade or whichever one you wanna consider is the other one. Um, but now we can go into advanced build mode. We'll get our selection space ready for it. So you can see I've got it four blocks high, two blocks wide, and I'm gonna hit copy and copy this here, and then I'm gonna paste one out. So say if I wanna detect uh, quarters, so I need one for 25, 50, 75, 100, and zero. So that's actually five that I will need. So you, here we go, we'll drop five out like so. And now we can um, update the displays. So you can see I have, uh, this will be zero. So I'll fly along and copy one of the gray boxes and replace the starting box like so. And then I'll fly over and use this to kind of roughly guess where a percentage, where like 25% would be. Again, we're gonna work our way towards the middle for 50%. We'll go again. Ooh. Replacing, and you could do this with numbers, you could do this with all kinds of different ways that you want to. Um, now I'm gonna do 100%. I know it's not gonna trigger when we hit cargo uh, or when we're detecting cargo, and that's because because of the way uh, cargo is set up at the moment, it doesn't detect 100% properly. Um, so I'll set it up like that. Um, it won't detect, but with power or shields or anything else, it'll go to 100% and you'll be able to see that. Now, you'll be wondering why I've got these two activation module blocks on each of them. Um, and this is to make things really easy when it comes to setting up your actual percentages 
um, all ratios with your sensor block. So in this case, for the very first one, zero, I need it just on a, um, I just need it on a one that is inactive. And then for all the others is an easy rule of thumb. So in whichever way you're going, you can see here, this is the, the direction I'm going with it. Um, so you, I will have more activation modules off than on. And the easiest way to do it is selecting the inactive ones on one side. Don't select anything in the line which has the sensor that you've got currently selected and then select the active ones on the other side. So you can see if I want to detect a quarter, that is one out of four. So I've got four selected, but only one's active. Again, if I do the same thing here, like so, you can see I'm detecting 50% or two out of four. And so I've got two selected that are active and two selected that aren't. Again, we can go along like this. And then again, um, I can just select one for 100. Otherwise I could select all of these because that's the, uh, the ratio that we've been doing as I go along. And same with this one, I could do it like that. But because they're all inactive, I could just select one. Um, so you can see that's the format that we're selecting there. Now, the other thing to note is, all right, we're loading more as we go to the right. So we want to do on the, as we go more to the left from the other side, we want to take the not gate and put it into the end of the previous one. And I'll show you why in a minute. So simple as that. And so you can see that as I toggle these on, only one AND gate is lighting up at a time. And that'll mean that only one of these displays gets loaded in at any one time. So as I start losing percentage again, it's going to go through and the percentage that I'm reading will go down. So that's it for the uh, display of a sensor template that we need. Let's demonstrate it in use. So we've got our uh, empty cargo over here. You can see we've got a full one over here. Both of these are set to be connected to each other and they're both pulling the same amount. Each activation module on top, you can see there is connected to be able to control the auto pull. And you can see in here, change items auto pull, it's set to pull a certain amount of items. Now what I'm going to do is grab the display module, I'm going to throw it on top. And then each of the AND gates from our template needs to connect to that one there. like so. Finally, we need to select the sensor blocks and connect them to that cargo so that that's the one we're detecting from, like so. And we need to connect our clock into each of the sensor blocks. And there we have it. That's all we need to do. And you can see it's just updated. We have 0% stored in here. And what I'll do is I'll push the button. So now we're pulling and you'll see as cargo is pulled, it's going to fill up a certain percent. So there is a fair bit in there at the moment, 92% and you can see it's quite high. I don't know what this stuff's all doing, like floating, <laughs> floating there. Um, but you can see we're gaining stuff here. We're at a hundred percent, but again, it's a little buggy when it comes to cargo. And so it's not going to see it, but I'll switch it off now. And then this one's also set to pull stuff from it. And what I might do is go in here and make it 500 for it to pull. And then set it to pull. And you'll see that as cargo is removed, our percentage is going to go down slowly. There it goes. And then it will go again when the next tick happens. And there we go. And you can see there's still a little bit in there. And then once that is all pulled out, slowly, slowly, it'll drop down to the end. It might take a little while because it's trying to pull 500 of each of those. Um, but that's the basic setup of it. 
obviously the more of these uh, templates that you add the more accurate you can be with your percentage numbers and you can work out the percentages pretty easily just by selecting your center block and going all right well what percentage would it be if I have one two three four and three are active so three out of four and then just you know google that or just do three divided by four times a hundred all those will give you the percentage if you want to do it as a percentage otherwise like this it's a basic bar graph that kind of gives you the visual of how it's going but in the next episode we'll look at how we can build a template for cargo to handle our edge cases so we can know uh, when things are completely empty and completely full until next time my name is bench and thanks for watching <laughs>